Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just uh, staying blessed. So as you know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you, then leave those messages at the door. Leave them on the floor for somebody else that will come along and pick them up. I promise, I guarantee you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And hit that thumbs up button for me as well. So, my quintessential um, crew of cancers. Let's go ahead and get into your reading this week and see where you are. All right, we got the five of wands, and then we got the four of swords. Somebody said, I'm not fighting with you. I'm not fighting with you. Like, y'all do all that fighting over there on your own. You look like fools on your own. You compete against yourselves. I'm taking myself out. That's the energy that I'm feeling with that. So, Cancer, I don't know who that is, but somebody said, I'm staying in my damn lane. I'm staying in my damn lane. I'm staying to myself. I'm doing my own healing. I'm working on my own craft. I'm working on my own uh, life. I'm not bothering nobody. While y'all over there competing with each other, while y'all over there fussing and fighting and just backbiting with each other and taking each other down, I'm going to be over here safe, protected, being watched over. I don't know who that was for, but hey, that's what I got right there because that Five of Wands energy is, is just talking about... Um, a lot of conflict, people just uh, in competition with each other. They're being very, mm, I'm hearing a bit cutthroat. So you know what? I feel as if it was some people working together with something. And I feel, I, mm, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> okay, maybe that's why I can't answer. Maybe that's why. Um, I was going to say that it feels as if there's a group of people over here who are working against somebody or working to take somebody down or trying to screw with somebody in some type of way, whether it was to screw with their money, screw with their business, screw with their family, screw with their livelihood or screw with their love life. Here we go with the sweetheart card. These could have been some uh, jealous people. Say if you were dating someone, um, for example, um, you were the main one or you were the one that the suitor wanted the most, but then maybe he had other people or she had other people and, you know, you kind of told you, ooh, you kind of said, made it be known that, look, if you're going to date me, you're going to date me. If we're going to be together, be together, we're going to be together. If we're going to build something, then let's try that. However, if you have all of this other energy over there, then you can go over there and you can stay with them. That's what's going on here, uh, right here. And somebody chose to stay in their own lane and to uh, just be solo by themselves and to just heal, which I'm very proud of you. So... <laughs> whoever chose that choose yourself if you are in a relationship and you know that you want to take it to the next level but the other person is playing games because they still have other people on the side or they doing whatever they're doing over there work on your own self you let them figure out what they need to do and you for damn sure let those other people Especially if it's a, it's a messy situation Because I feel as if this was a bit of a messy situation But the thing is Whoever I'm talking to Which is more than likely you cancer You took yourself out of this equation Before it got very messy mm. A child Right is Somebody pregnant over here One of these um lovers One of these exes or whoever I don't know Listen, I just saw the first card that popped out. I'm like, child, huh? So, and if we do have a sweetheart, somebody could have had a secret sweetheart over here. They were trying to keep secret as well because it's four of swords. You know, it just talks about it's healing energy. As I said, this is somebody now in the energy of um, being quiet, staying in their lane. So this is someone who removed themselves from the drama. No more drama for this person. They were, they took themselves out and they're working on themselves. However, <clears throat> this also, I'm picking up the energy of laying low and staying quiet about something. 
other people other people could know um, about this situation or if it does involve a child or something of that nature um, or just some new creation. It doesn't have to be a child. It can be a new job. It can be something because again, this is all about competition. Competition. This could have been a, a competition on a job or something. So instead of someone focusing on the competition that their co-workers were doing, they kind of went off into their own lane and they kind of brainstormed their own um their own idea. Their own they 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 birthed their own idea. So this is what somebody is doing. So you put that energy where you will. See? <laughs> you don't don't just try to make it I'm not going I'm not going to be all messy, Cancer, okay? I'm messy a bit because somebody here is did have a kid and they were trying to keep that under wraps. And they had it with a secret sweetheart they were trying to keep under wraps. But I feel as if there were more than one, more than um, a few people involved in this situation, however that goes. So yeah, that is a bit messy. But for other people, then this is simply taking yourself away from the competition and staying in your own lane. Who needs to deal with that bullshit? And I don't blame you. So here we go with the hangman in the reverse. <laughs> and the three of swords I was actually thinking about the three of swords Because of course it comes before the uh, four of swords Now the three of swords Is heartbreak hotel The three of swords um, You know is disappointment Heartache it could be a, re a breakup Or rejection or something of that nature It comes out in the reverse though So This energy to me As I said somebody is Healing because after we go through the heartbreak, after we go through the storm, then we have to take ourselves away and we have to heal from something. So someone could have been maybe on the sidelines for a while or they could have just been waiting. They could have been holding themselves in place, waiting for something. But whatever this was, um, I feel as if it did not, it was only causing somebody further misery. To be honest, somebody was delaying their own healing. That's what I'm picking up from here. Somebody was delaying their own healing. The more and more that they just stayed, um, the more and more that they just remain energetically tied to a situation. So they had to let themselves go, let that person go, let whatever that situation, that circumstance was, and just fully step into this place of healing. Which they have done right now. So I'm glad this Three of Swords is in the reverse because this does indicate that we are moving forward and um, helping to helping to fix our broken heart because it says broken heart right there. It's broken heart, right? Um, it's some kind of secret. Some kind of somebody had a broken heart because somebody had other. Other people competing for the affections as well So I think someone is saying Not I think I know someone is saying Because I can hear it They're saying Alright instead of uh, me Continue to break my own heart And continue to get hurt by this situation Knowing that you have Or possibly have other people involved Then the best thing for me to do Is to remove myself from this um, equation And I'm pretty sure they probably felt Something about a child too Or if something was going on But as I said This is now them in their own energy Of uh, Creating what they need to create for themselves <laughs> Waiting Waiting It comes out under the hangman car that, The hangman car If it comes out in the reverse like this It means we're staying stuck in place We're stuck in place We're not moving um, because we're observing to see how a situation is going to go. When it comes out in the upright, that means, all right, we see how this situation is going. So let me release myself. Somebody was waiting. And here we go with a wife. Right. Somebody had some kind of um, secret family, secret wife, secret life. I don't know. Secret husband or secret family. But there was something. And here we go with another kid um, right here. It's a lot of women. Right here on these uh, cards, you know, it's one, two, three women and two babies. So, it was, <laughs> okay, I want to put these here. 
Tja. Okay, so sighs. So, you know, just someone who's sighing. They're sad about something. And then we have the widower card. Then I say it was a wife here and a child. And then we have the widower. Yeah, did somebody, um, I hope nobody uh, passed away. But if someone did pass away, then, you know, my, my deepest condolences to anybody who's going through that. But mm. it well, if someone didn't pass away, then there someone is mourning the end of some relationship or mourning the end of some marriage because it's too many um it's too many of these little gypsy cars I hear that are okay look we have sweetheart <laughs> then we have child then we have someone who's waiting you know they're waiting 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 to receive something waiting to receive some message then we have wife and then widower and then this side card this and these both are like sad energy, you know, it's losing something, missing something. So there has definitely been some kind of a loss here. And this is some kind of loss dealing with some kind of relationship or something. Or it could have been a loss with a job or whatever it is but something the Hierophant card this is a marriage this commitment y'all saw that flip out this is a, a commitment with the Hierophant right there <clears throat> so yeah this is some marriage that's over and then the other cards that came out the five of wands or oh, five of swords sorry in the reverse and then we have the princess of wands yeah this is over because the five of wands talks about uh, conflict and winning at no cost someone now has given up this marriage and they gave up this fight if they were fighting for this they gave it up and they they they're not putting any more action into this with this um with this energy and somebody knows it okay this explains a lot right here y'all see how i pulled these cards fell out these bottom cards the clarifiers came out before the main cards so we already pretty much have more of the story here. Somebody's mourning the end of a relationship. As I said, some kind of commitment, some kind of, it was a job commitment, some kind of contract, anything of that nature. But it's over now because somebody is done fighting. Somebody has given up fighting for this and someone knows that um, they're done. Like they're not putting any more action they're not putting any more action into this right here. Interesting. Let's see what else comes out. How in the hell have I done Cancer's video in like 14 minutes and I'm almost at the end, but these other videos, I just been, by the time I get to the last cards right here, I'm at half an hour. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to cut down on my time. But it's all right. <laughs> I feel like I need to bring three. Who knows? By the time I'm done with this reading, it might be um, 45 minutes. So let's go with it. Oh, all right. I'm glad I took those cards because it looks as if one situation, when one door closes, another one opens. Because now we have the fool card and you know that's all about taking a chance. It's all about um, really just giving in and going forward and not being afraid and not keeping ourselves bound. <clears throat> keeping ourselves bound. You know, we're free to do anything. We're free to do anything we want. So somebody here is free to do anything that they want. 
They're free to go anywhere they want. They're free to date anyone they want. They're free to do whatever it is that makes them happy. So. Interesting. All right, let's go. Let's start off. Let's do a little recap. So we already established that somebody, um, they said, I'm done fighting. Whatever, con and again, all this conflict here, the five of wands and the five of swords, five represents change as well. So when you have these um, two fives right there, then that's definite change. And with this five of um, swords in the reverse, that's giving up the fight. That's because when it comes out in the upright, we want to win. We it's win or lose. We don't care. But usually we're going to win at any cost that we have. So if that means stepping over people, manipulating people, um, getting to the top anyway, that's how we're going to do it. But somebody is somebody is like, OK, I'm out. I'm done. I don't even want to give any more energy to this situation. Um, I'm done. So it's 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 a done dotto right here with the widow card It's done and buried. So one door closes. Now another one opens. The Fool card, we're here to take a chance. Then we have the King of Pentacles right there. Ooh, and then the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So yeah, we, somebody might, somebody could have money on their mind. So this is about, um, this is about building up their stability, building up their money, you know, becoming more, business oriented you know actually focusing on their business if they have this going on or starting a new business you know they're taking a new chance on themselves and taking just a new chance on their future but whatever whatever it is that they're taking a chance on this is building up towards some kind of a long-term legacy a long-term investment for them um yeah so But be careful. <laughs> here we go with the servant card. And then here we go with the thief card. So be careful of um if this is you, cancer, you are here taking chances and you know taking different opportunities, um, networking and just talking and moving and hustling in different directions. And you're working on your business acumen, you're working on your um le uh, leveling up in a lot of ways. Uh be careful of the snakes, be careful of the people who try to come in to take from you. And just always, always be humble as well. This is saying always be humble with that servant car. Always be respectful. So the more and more that you stay humble, the more and more that you stay respectful um, and aware and acute of, you know, awarely acute of what's going on around you, you know, you'll be fine. You'll be protected, but you can't let everyone in your energy because everybody is not here to... Uh, add to your value some people are here to try to take from your value so this is saying be careful in giving too much you don't want to serve you don't want to give you don't want to um you know uh be loyal and faithful or uh, have the wrong type of energies in your field so don't be a fool <laughs> You know, be a fool with taking chances and opportunities. You know, you can be foolish with that, just doing something new, but don't be a fool. Okay? You understand what I mean by that? So, don't be a fool. Um, judge accordingly to whoever and whatever is in your energy. And just keep building you. Keep building, keep growing. So, Cancer. I will talk to you all later. Hit that like button and like, share, and subscribe to my video. And if you want to book a personal reading, my information is down below. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.